Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT for business, ideas, as well as some business use cases. Let's get right on into it. So the first one is going to be about getting, say, an idea. Maybe you haven't started a business yet. Maybe you've gotten a little ways into it, but I'm just going to describe, say, someone where they are in the beginning and we'll roll from there. It says, I love creating content online. Give me a great business idea that revolves around creating content and engaging with leads in order to make sales. Let's hit the arrow button here and see what we get. So if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, GPT-4, it is going to be a little bit slower in terms of how it processes and creates it. However, the quality is going to be so much higher. With that being said, what I'm going to do is just pause it so that when it's done, I can come back and read it so that we don't just waste a bunch of time. So I'll be right back in about one second. All right, so as I scroll up, we got a lot of content here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of skim over it so I don't have to read everything. So create a platform that's specialized in personalized content creation and marketing for business and individuals. This platform would allow users to create, organize, and share highly customized content that resonates with their target audience. The primary goal is to engage leads through valuable content, nurture relationships, and ultimately convert them into paying customers. So key features would be content creation, personalization, collab, uh, content content curation and organization, social media integration and scheduling, lead engagement and nurturing, monetization, and of course, education and resources. Now, what you could do if you wanted more info about that, it's kind of like speaking with someone who knows a lot more than you. So this is the game plan, but where would I start? So what would be the first step? And you kind of go from there. It's just like having a conversation. Any questions that you need answered, you ask. And of course, that's how you can do that. So so that's just the very quick overview when it comes to getting business ideas. There's a few things I want to do. and I don't want the video to be like super long. So what I'm going to do is go to the next aspect and ChatGPT4 is enabled. Let's paste it in. So I want to create a video about the benefits of personal trainers. So this is just an example. Say I used to be a personal trainer, so I bring it up every now and then. Give me a few great YouTube title examples and then write the YouTube description of that video for me. So not only are we going to get some titles, but when it's done, we'll also have the description. So we don't need to write anything, say, in the description of the YouTube video. Once again, let's click on the arrow button. And what I'm going to do once it's done, I'll be back and then we'll talk about it. So I kind of like the little bit of a slower aspect of it because it allows me to like walk around my house, get a lot of water. But anyway, just the way to make it more uh, manageable if you're waiting for the little longer of uh, generation time. So title examples, maximize your fitness goals, the top 10 benefits of personal trainers revealed, unlock your true potential, how trainers can transform your life, why you need one, uncovering the secret to lasting fitness success, your ultimate workout guide, boost results with a personal trainer, get in shape faster, the power of personal trainers and achieving your dream body. So we have a description for this specific one, which I like. So that's very good. This is just another example of Chad GPT-4. You'll notice how it just doesn't give you a random description here, it actually gives you the one they're going to be using because you could take this one and it could be completely different from the top 10 benefits, right? So we do have the top 10 benefits here. So are you struggling to reach your fitness goals or simply looking to take your workout to the next level? In this video, we'll reveal the top 10 benefits of working with a personal trainer and show you why it might be the missing piece to your fitness puzzle. I like that. Has some emojis going on. And of course, it gives us the 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It also gives you the timestamps. Obviously, you don't have to use those specifically, but nice to have there and going down. Let's see, join us and dive into the world of personal trainers. Overall, it looks very good. And like it says, <laughs> remember to adjust the timestamps according to the actual duration of the sections in your video. So like I said, it's very smart. This was something I didn't even notice until you know I went down, but it has the timestamps. And I pretty much said the exact same thing. You don't even need to use them or just adjust them, remove them. And then it says the same thing. So that's a great note. So let's save the best for last. Let's do a new chat. Let's go to chat GPT-4. I had this in a notepad, so let me copy and paste it. All right, so in case you haven't seen it with the chat GPT for image input, there is a way of doing it. So what I did is first I went to postimg.cc and I uploaded a picture. You want to make sure you get the direct link where it has like the file at the end. And this is just an example of Queenstown, New Zealand. I love this. It was so beautiful. I wonder if any Kiwis are listening, you live in a fantastic spot. <laughs> just all of New Zealand was so picture perfect. Anyway, what I did and how this relates to business, of course, I put input, I have the beginning bracket, I have the uh, URL right here, and then end bracket. And what I did is put, write a Facebook caption, a few paragraphs for this picture, talking about the benefits of taking a break from your business to enjoy everything that you worked hard for. So 
Remember, this is all about business uses and there's a lot of business going on on social media in case you haven't noticed. So this could be a value post. Obviously, you could do something different if it relates to a promotion or maybe it relates to getting someone to check out a new video or an article or a vlog, whatever it's going to be, right? That's going to be up to you. But just showing you how you can work it with having a picture and creating something on social media. Let's see what we get. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, and I happened to come back right around when it was finishing up. So I will actually read this one. It's not too long, but look at that. It actually, I mean, I did have the name as Queenstown, but I wonder if I took that out and it would still know. Like that's the recognition aspect that it knows it's Queenstown. I think that's pretty great. Next time I do a picture of a location, I'll just call it like view and then see if it still says Queenstown. So after months of grinding and working hard on the business, it's time to step back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. As entrepreneurs, we often forget the importance of taking time off to recharge and rejuvenate. So here I am, surrounded by the stunning landscape of Queenstown, embracing every moment of relaxation and adventure. Taking a break isn't just about indulging in luxurious experiences, but also reflecting on our accomplishments and reigniting the passion that drives us. Exploring the breathtaking beauty of Queenstown serves as a reminder of why we hustle every day to create a life full of unforgettable experiences and memories. As we take a breather from our daily grind, we also have the chance to build new connections and get inspired by the world around us. Traveling allows us to step out of our comfort zones and exposes us to different perspectives, allowing us to grow both personally and professionally. Remember, it's essential to strike a balance between work and play. So take a moment to pause, appreciate your hard work, and revel in the beauty of life. Cheers to more success and unforgettable adventures. And we have some great hashtags at the end. So those are just a few ways that you can use ChatGPT for business, like we talked about when it comes to a business idea. Uh, and then we also talked about using, say, for like YouTube. Obviously, you can do it for anything you want when it comes to content. Then, of course, we described this picture and talked about how we related to, say, taking a break or if you're working too hard and so on and so forth. Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Maybe I forgot about something. Hope you learned something new, especially if you want to add an image in here. That's how you do it. Along with this website, postimg.cc works very well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.